Tatsumi, how are you? It's so good to uh, to hear from you, and we saw each other in a brief period of time. But um, I'm so glad to sit down now and uh, and communicate to you and to the Japan uh, Basketball Association, also the IBL. You know, it's really, really uh, a privilege and an honor for me to convey to you that it's uh, a wonderful vision that you have, Tatsumi, for the youth in Japan to become an NBA or player. Uh, that's for men or for women. Let's start again. Hi, Tatsumi. This is Mel from the president of Living Legends Incorporated. It's a pleasure to talk with you again. It brings back some fond memories when we first met in 2005 when I came to Japan. And I must say I was very impressed but not surprised by the talent and by the commitment and the dedication the children uh, of Japan has towards the game of basketball. Um, it's just a matter of time before Japan will have an NBA player and also a WNBA player. But also take some hard work and commitment and some dedication and continue competition play um, in various levels. And we're hopeful that we can work together and help develop the youth. And I think your vision is wonderful and you have the children that's motivated and inspired. And I want them to continue doing that and continue to watch the NBA. How's that? Good. I think Kimamoto is a wonderful city, and I think it's a tremendous opportunity for the fans to support their team there, and they're going to have much, much success. So support your team and work real hard. Living Legends Incorporated is a company of over a thousand athletes that can help you in every sport, in particular basketball. The greatest players that ever played basketball are associated with Living Legends Incorporated. I'm talking about players like Julius Irving, Oscar Robertson, Rick Barry, Bill Walton, and we would like to be a part of your growth and your bright future and a wonderful vision that you have for Japanese players to develop their skills and eventually one day become an NBA player or a WNBA player. Good luck. The Japan Tornadoes. It brings back the memory of 2005 when I visited Japan and I first met you, Tatsumi. I think it's a tremendous opportunity and I think the vision that you have for Japan players to really embrace basketball and develop their skills. I was very, very impressed with the youth when I came over there to do the clinic and also talk to the youth with Clyde Drexler in 2005. And I think most importantly, the league can help develop your players, but also can develop your coaches and your referees. And I think that three-pronged approach is critical and the sooner you get started the better but most importantly is the work ethic and continue to develop. Good luck. Right. I will repeat question number two, Kimamoto. I think it's a great idea to develop a team for Kumamoto and to play in the Kumamoto Basketball League. It brings back memories when I started playing, and it helped me develop my skills. It gave me that competition. It gave me that confidence that I needed. And I think most importantly, coaching and the referees, it gave me a better understanding of the game and how it's played. And I congratulate you for starting this team and also to help develop your youth. Good luck, Tatsumi. I will repeat question number three. Tatsumi, how are you? The Japan Basketball Association is a wonderful association. 
and I wish you all the luck. I think you have tremendous potential with your youth. We would like to be a part of that, Living Legends Incorporated. We have the greatest basketball players that's ever played in the game. Players such as Bill Walton, Julius Irving, Oscar Robertson, Rick Barry, just to name a few. And we can come there with you and help develop and work with your youth. And one day in the near future, you have an NBA player or a WNBA player. But most importantly, you have the work ethic of the children, you have the facilities, and also you have the expertise and a desire. Good luck, Tatsumi. I'm, I'm delighted to speak about uh, Japanese basketball. Having gone there with all-star teams and NIT, I have a fond recollection of playing over there. And I know how much they love basketball. And I'd like to extend my best wishes that you have continued success. I know that you love the sport very much. You have beautiful arenas. I was very much impressed uh, as we played all, all over the country. And I understand that you're trying to get youngsters to start working and start becoming really serious about the game of basketball throughout the country. And I cannot think of a better person who has a feel, who knows basketball, who his entire life both as a high school, college, and professional player, and knows also uh, what it is takes to make a good basketball player. There's no other person in this world that I would like to make than Mr. Mel Davis. But then I'm prejudiced. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you.